apples are usually in season in September, which is maybe why Apple, the tech company, has made September releases of new versions of iOS a bit of a tradition over the last few years. And things were no different this year with the release of iOS 10 alongside the new iPhone 7, which you can learn more about here. But with iOS 10 supporting iPhone and iPad models all the way back to the iPhone 5 and the fourth gen iPad from 2012, you don't have to shell out tons of new money on a brand new phone to get it. But is it worth getting excited over anyway? Well, let's start with the way you get into your phone in the first place. Gone are the days of slide to unlock as now you either have to press the home button or on iPhone 6s and newer, just lift the phone up to wake the screen, which could be useful if your arms are full and it would be difficult to try to manipulate the phone itself. Once you're in, you might find it a little easier to customize what's on your home screen. I mean, they still don't allow you to place app icons wherever you want, for some reason, but they finally introduced the ability to hide some of the preloaded stuff you never use, though you still can't uninstall them completely to save space on your phone. A little annoying if you're trying to remove GarageBand, iBooks, or the Stocks app because your portfolio consists of 10 bucks and some oddly colored pocket lint. But one thing you probably will be using a fair amount is the Messages app, which not only can animate your own handwriting for a personal touch, but can now also show video and image previews from a number of different apps. It can auto-suggest in different languages if you routinely type in multiple languages, and it can convert words to emoji on the fly. You can even make your outgoing messages stay obscured on your recipient's screen until they manually swipe them if you're sending a uh, private message. Now let's talk notifications. You no longer have to leave the home screen to interact with your notifications. Many of them now support 3D touch interactions and you can now directly reply to text messages without having to open a new window or even unlock your phone. Then, and this is cool, once you're done, you can get rid of all your notifications at once if you have a 3D Touch enabled device. A welcome addition for longtime iOS users who know the pain of manually scrolling through ancient SMS messages to mark them all as red. Moving on to actually using apps, here you'll find some more useful enhancements. The default phone app can now transcribe your voicemails without a third party service. Hey boss, it's John. Um, listen, we're going to need an order of about 10,000 hula hoops. If you don't have time to listen to them and can also check incoming calls against a registry of known spammers. So you'll know if that uh, ring is really someone trying to steal your credit card number in exchange for a fakecation. But it isn't just the default apps that offer more functionality. Perhaps even more importantly, iOS 10 offers more robust support for certain features of the hardware in third-party apps. 3D Touch now supports more applications and you can now shoot high resolution images in raw format in supported apps if you'd like to work with them later in your favorite image editing program on your computer. Siri also plays more nicely with non-Apple programs. You can tell her to call you a ride through Uber or get her to interact with your fitness app because you're just too tired after all those uh, bench presses to lift up your phone. And speaking of going to the gym, iOS 10 has built-in water detection for iPhone 6s and later to warn you if you need to let your phone dry out. Perfect, even if you didn't go to the gym and you just like keeping your iPhone dangerously close to your big gulp. No word yet, though, on whether any updates will automatically get Siri to shame you for being too sedentary. Speaking of shame, it would be a shame if you went to build yourself a awesome website and you didn't use Squarespace to save yourself a bunch of freaking time and end up with what will probably be better looking in the end anyway. Squarespace has beautiful templates that look great across any device, whether it's a computer or your shiny new iOS 10, iPhone 7, whatever the case may be. And they make it easy. It's all cloud-based, so you pretty much, whether you don't know anything about websites or whether you do know a little bit, 
You go in, you kind of go page by page, you put in your pictures, you put in your text, and boom, you can preview the whole thing pretty much live, and any changes you make are done immediately. It's also extraordinarily stable. Squarespace takes care of all the hosting backend stuff, so you don't have to think about it at all. Our Squarespace site has never gone down in the years we've been using it. And the best thing is it starts at only 12 bucks a month, and you get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year. Your site can have commerce. You can create just a single page presence using their cover pages feature. You can create yourself a fancy little logo. You can accept Apple Pay if you're running a Squarespace store. Lots of cool stuff. Try a trial. Try a trial. Yes, start a trial at the link in the video description. And when you like it, use offer code TechQuickie to get 10% off your first purchase. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you like the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, Boom, we got a featured video right there. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all that good stuff so you don't miss any more of our videos.